guys, welcome back to Full Coverage. Woo-hoo, you got your fools here. The full, got the full fam and Tyler. The two fools. <laughs> <laughs> the third, the honorary fool. <laughs> the honorary. Maybe, honorary. maybe Love we're it. just saying that this is the real. This is the hangout. real hangout sesh. Like if you were at our house hanging out, you're now experiencing the full experience. And this is exactly the what full, it is. The full, the full experience. experience. I see what you Any, did there. Anything with the full F O O L, I want to like. Or F U L O. I want to like use. I want to use it for everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I'm so full. F O O L. All right. I need like an official introduction. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who the <laughs> fuck I am? This is my Manny's boyfriend. I'm, <laughs> yes. this, I'm the. Thr- this is why I'm on the, the couch. Yeah. 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 I should have sat over there. Yeah, it should have been the three that of us on so one couch. <laughs> the three of us crammed on this. Oh my couch. god! I would have been in the middle like this, like yeah. a little baby swearing. I'm not the biggest. This is my husband. This is Tyler. His name is Tyler. And he's the one that sits in another room and watches us on the monitor and make sure the show is running well. So God forbid something happens. On, I can see it. I literally he have knows. the TV we have a window flipped around here. and I can see everything. We have so a window I'm here. multitasking. Um, but you're also like, you're always here for our episodes. Like you're always here in spirit. Yeah. Yes. Like always. And like, you'll even Occasionally like, Occasionally like, I chime hey, in. Hey dude, what do, you, what do you know about this? <laughs> <laughs> and you'll chime in and help us exactly what's going on. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So we thought it'd be kind of fun to, because we're gonna, this episode's kind of be dedicated to us just like talking about crazy experiences that we've had in like our past and just like random things that like we haven't really talked about on socials because I think it'd be kind of funny to like talk about our life because we have like episodes where we talk about like hot topics and like the tea what's going on and then we have guests and it's like we should do ones like about like us and our deep dive in our lives like, yeah what like we've experienced. crazy stuff we've experienced yeah because <laughs> we've experienced many crazy things so we literally have like 20 of them li- listed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of things that are just wild yeah. that we've had to experience Thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. I gotta say, Laura, I like having sex. Oh my God, do you? <laughs> I do, and I will say, I think wow. that's really, really cool Shocking. that Adam and Eve is so, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Adam and Eve is so, you know, it's, it's a literal website dedicated to being sex positive. So cool. And the fact that they have different sections for people to kind of break it down for you is really cool. Mm-hmm. They have a lesbian section, a gay section, a couple section, a men section, a women section. Like they actually have so many different things that are diverse in their portfolio. And their website site is laid out where it's so easy to shop it's so simple and it honestly makes it really really easy and it makes it for a really seamless sex positive experience and that's exactly what we're going for here on miss full coverage so they got a little deal for you guys if you're interested all you have to do is enter the code full at checkout and you'll get 50 percent off almost any item go check out adamandeve.com select one item get 50 percent off including free shipping when you enter the code full that's f-o-o-l Full at adamandeve.com. Do we three have a crazy experience together? We I feel like them. there's something we're doing we that we don't. We really or like like a about. branch of like experience that we've had that we like something's gone crazy on a trip. I mean, we've been on trips where literally like golf I can think carts of one were crashed, but it's not for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I try to think of what you're thinking, but I'm sure it's already th- been thought. <laughs> but you guys, we're gonna start off, of course, like with what. We did was. this, yeah. You start. I uh, mean, yeah, I put it on the spot. My goodness, I don't even know. I do declare. What did I do? Well, this weekend I watched the Iron Bowl. No, that was last weekend. We watched the SEC championship yeah. this how weekend. We, how you never ended up telling me how it was. Um, we beat the F. Out. By the way, Georgia's my second favorite football team. Like okay. besides Alabama, I mm-hmm. would say Georgia's number two for me. It always has been. I love the team. They have Kirby Smart as their coach, which is mm-hmm. our old, old coach. Uh huh. I only know any of this stuff because of Laura, by the there way, are all- and Tyler. Kirby Smart was the offensive coordinator. Um, he was the defensive coordinator. I d- it, literally the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, great. But you were close. But anyway, I was so far. But anyways, <laughs> I I like him. Like I like Georgia football, and the mm-hmm. only time I'm not rooting for is when they're playing us, and like I. I thought they were going to kick our ass, but as it turns out, I think they had an easier schedule this year. I think everyone thought they were going to kick our ass. I, Texas you, A&M look, you is sitting here that. like this. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. But we ended up like k- totally kicking their ass and we're going no to the playoffs. Way. Yeah. Well, I'm always... That's honestly really exciting. They always pull through somehow. Yeah, it was... It sh- we should have got beat, I feel like, but our team How? showed up. Yeah, our team was literally because on they've fire. they've been great all year, but, you know, I guess SEC East has got a week schedule. We're playing Cincinnati in the playoffs and they're... I don't want to say they're a joke, but I think they've had a they're me and definitely Ty, not a joke. They're not a joke because they made undefeated. it to the playoffs. But they also had an easy schedule and like all that comes Even clean. with an easy schedule, like mm. it's hard to go undefeated. Yeah, anywhere. and it's it hard to like make it to the playoffs. Day. So good job, Cincinnati. Prepare for game day. 
It'll be fine. It's, it's honestly, gonna be nasty. I love seeing like their passion about football. I don't like football really. I played yeah. football when I was junior high and it wasn't a fan. But like seeing them talk about football, it makes me excited about football in a weird way. We should go if to that a makes game any together. Sense. I want you I to go to a game with me. We were thinking about going to the playoffs, but turns out I we mean, got something to do. Oh, right. We're going to. But we could go to the national championship game together. What are the playoffs again? January, uh, New Year's. Got it. Yeah, New yeah, I remember that. Eve this New Year's year. Eve. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I feel like you went around that same time the la- like couple years back. Like yeah, it was New Year's in, Day like, a couple years, years back. Like yep, we did. Yeah, we did. We went to the Clemson. Island I would definitely game. go to a game. I think games in general are really really fun. Like I've yeah. been to many games in high school, so. I, I but you would have the most fun if you went to like an Alabama game at Alabama. Like are that they, are is they like, cra- like are the crowds wild? Oh, it's next wild. level. Honestly, no. The best the part is the pre gaming. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like the yeah, tailgating the tailgating. beforehand, oh, and like the, the, the parking lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then when you get in the stadium, everybody's got alcohol tucked in every pocket oh, and yeah. crevice uh-huh. because you can't drink in a college stadium. And then as soon as you get seat, it do. starts coming out, and it's mm-hmm. just like honestly, it's an experience. It is so much fun. It's an whole you will We're going to take you to Alabama with this one day. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I do want to go to Alabama. I think it's a little guys. absurd you haven't gone yet, but I'm telling you, you're not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not prepared. <laughs> you might not like it as much. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, you guys are both from Alabama, and I love you both so much yeah. that, like, I think I would actually really enjoy Alabama then. Yeah. Because I'm like, you guys are from there, and I love you both, so it's like, you hello. Might. You might. I might love Alabama. Yeah. I might despise it with every fiber of my being, but I <laughs> might love it, too. True. So I don't know. I'm also from California, so it's just it's a different I also vibe. feel like I'm going to regret this conversation because I quit, like, almost completely quit talking about football on my IG story. Like, just leave it off because really? people get so crazy. Like, I'll be, like, watching the game. <gasps> Fuck Alabama! <laughs> like, Wait, are you oh serious? God, yeah. Like, it's that serious? Yeah, they get really crazy in my DMs. I'm like, whoa, dude. I didn't know it was Not that serious. Not an aggressive person here. Like, it's, yeah, like, it gets really aggressive and I'm like, whoa. But people hate Alabama fans. I think they have a special hate sauce for us. Okay. Because, oh. so because we win so much. I mean, it I mean, is true, with though. the way you it just said true, that, I would be like, true. you're annoying ass bitch. Like, even Alabama <laughs> will annoy me. I'm like, I want, I want something. Give me something different. We've been watching the same program year after year. Let's lose some. So when we lost against Texas a and I was so like, done with you. This is well, I was like, all right, right, we got a season right. here. Woo! Time to watch some real football. Some shit. Yeah, it like kind of gets boring. Yeah. Right, so what else did you do this week? That's it. You go. Your turn, Ty. I, oh I was like, wait a damn work, minute. I didn't know it was going to be. I didn't uh, sign up for this. Yeah. Um, Tyler, you did. You're in the chair. God, what did I do? You're in the chair. Saturday. I golfed. So does the weekend when count? Do you actually not golf? Is Excuse the real me, sir. He's golfing Don't try Friday me. too. Don't try and me. And I'm golfing I this that, week. I know, <laughs> no, I know. You golf every week. I know. I'm this trying to get you. good enough to beat your dad. Oh, uh, I mean, your dad like, apparently like is really good. good. Yeah, he's, he's like, like weirdly really good. good. I'm yeah. like, dad, calm down. I golf like once a week. So okay, that's good. I think that's fair. Mm. You've I, already I, done a nine hole listen, this week and you're golfing Friday. I golf once a week Ooh. and then I will do the range like once a week. And then one of the yeah. ranges has a nine hole at it that we sometimes play. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And then and then you but, guys play the game at night. Yeah. And then, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Mario, you guys, play you, Mario Golf on, on the, the Switch. Switch. I'm good at it. Laura's, Laura's actually really good. Really She's good shockingly at good at it. Really good at I, it. I, I play the birds. Every time literally I'm like, I'm some the eagles. You're gonna be getting some eagles out here. I, I get some eagles. Ty's really he's better than me, but I mean I'm just good at video games. He is. That's yeah, you literally have a place him and his brother yeah. are good. They still play. Like him and his brother literally get on like all the time at night. All the time. And be going crazy. I'll literally walk in there and be like, shut up. Oh, I'll be like, shoot him. Shoot him. I gotta go hit the truck. Shoot him. I'm like, (laughs) oh my God. You literally were saying that last night. I was like, oh my God. And like they'll scream, like my brothers play it too. And like they'll scream obscenities. And I'm like, why are you saying that? Yeah. And he's like, well, they got me mad. And I'm like, (laughs) Nick, you can't talk to your three olds like that. Like, the problem the is when you're wearing headsets, obviously that's you can't the problem. hear they scream. Oh, how loud that's you why. are or aggressive. Okay, that are. makes yeah, more. That makes a little bit more screaming. sense. I'll literally go into so this thing, like literally wearing just briefs as I'm trying to see, it, and I'm like, turn that. That's me. You're shit me. Down. You're, like, that's you're me. literally like my dad. No, from when I was literally. a kid, he would come <laughs> in and like literally his boxers. Chonies. Yes, literally, and come in and be like, turn it down. It's midnight. No, literally, and I'm like, close this fucking door and then i get so like my tone gets lower because i'm so annoyed i'm like Wait, don't fucking do this when shit. you say this and they know you mean business they're like okay no he just like oh yeah yeah for they're sure. like fuck off and, but, 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 like, his tone does change it's like he shuts yeah, the no, door yeah. son of a bitch <laughs> yeah. as long as the He's door right is closed i'm it. like keep this door closed period 
That's how you be acting on Super Smash. That's true. Bitch. That's exactly how you act. <laughs> wait, well, listen, wait, do you talk? I can't shit talk to, the to kids? I can't talk to people on Super Smash. That's the problem. Why not? I want though. to, but I'll, I'll teabag. <laughs> Only if they do it first. What is that? Okay, so listen. I know what that only, is. Like, so the character can like go down quickly, and it's like, and Super Smash lingo, it's like you're teabagging, like, oh, you lost teabag, like a quick little jump up and down. And I'll only do it if they start doing it first. I'm like, oh, you're a teabag. You, you tea I'm a teabag. I'm like, you teabag every time. You no, liar. I don't. I really don't. So I'm like an adult. I'm a grown ass man. I, I'm I'll a admit teabag. I all the time. <laughs> I do not teabag. I don't play Super Smash, do I? Y you will play though. I will. And you but are I not bad. I don't like it. I'm terrible. I lose every time. I literally you, lose. You've won before though. Maybe. You've literally I know. Won. I probably have come in third place before. Okay. Well, that's something. That's all I That's get. winning in our book. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I what did you can't. do this week, man? Yeah. I actually just got back yesterday from Tulum, Whoa. Mexico. Oh. I went out to Mexico with Daniel. And some friends that from back home for his friends back home. And um, honestly, I had a really, really great time. I haven't been to Tulum in like literally over 10 years. I've never been to Tulum. And it's, to Tulum. So I, it's like, I mean, it's a beautiful place. I will say like Tulum isn't my favorite when it comes to like tripping in Mexico or going to places in Mexico. Like for me, like I really like Cabo a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I've been to Mexico favorite. City. Cabo is beautiful. And um, Tulum, I've been to Tulum and I just feel like Cabo is just a lot bigger. Yeah. So like, just like, I feel like there's a lot. I've been to Cancun. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot more things to do in Cabo. Um, so I had like a little bit more fun in those like Cabo kind of places. But honestly, overall, the trip was incredible. And I had so you much fun. You know what fun. the thing is about Cabo? It's always warm. It's a two and a half hour flight. That's, the, that's I, that, I always account that. That flight. I always account that. Girl, it's a hop, skip, and a jump Tulum was from five Los Angeles. Away. And plus an hour drive. And a drive. And, hour and a half. And normally when you land in Cabo, the airport is like. 15 minutes from the resorts and yeah. the hotels. So you get a quick car. I mean, it's you, easier. I mean, I'm talking about in three hours, you can be from your house or like at the airport no, to in your resort in Cabo. And then it's like a little paradise for, especially people on the, you know, on the West coast. Yeah. It's like yeah for the West coasters. Like, bro, we there. saw a rhinoceros beetle. Oh, I've seen those I on TikTok. A of it. And literally was it dead. It was alive. It was on its back. So it was, it was kind of like dog style. Yeah, of course. So God. yeah, Daniel like put, okay. got on the towel Daniel and like flipped, would. It, flipped it off. No, but because it, it was, it was outside technically, but because it was on its back, like it couldn't turn over. Yeah. It was as big as my hand oh, and I don't amazing. have a small hand. You should have taken it. I'm I just kidding. Are you, you would not have like touched no, it. No, like, It's literally have. like this. It was the scariest bug I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen a bug that big. I didn't even know they could get that big. The only bug that scares me, I would say, is like if a spider was on me. Oh, yeah. But like I'm not the type of person. Like cockroach girl, ain't nothing but wrong with it. But if it touches it. you? No, I don't give a shit. I don't oh, like really? either. I don't care. But like if I, now if a spider was on me, I'm going to freak the You're gonna fuck fucking out. Freak. But like looking at it, like I'm chilling. But like, I'm not you don't the type touch to it. scream and go crazy. I try not to kill them because I feel bad. Of course, yeah. And like they they eat other bugs, so I'm like, mm. good. Thrive I used to on. be terrified of mosquito hawks. Those are the, oh, they're I huge. I literally will catch those in my hand. They no, don't I'm not even scared bite. of them now, they but I used bite. to be so scared of them. So was I. I mean, they're like huge. They look like I thought they were. I thought that's what a mosquito was. Yeah, yeah. It was mosquito hawks for the longest time. But for me, I don't want any bug to ever touch me ever, other than. A ladybug it, that can touch me. But I'll never forget. Female forbid. ladybugs bite. You know. No, they don't. <gasps> Tyler, you're lying. No, they Look don't. Look it up. No, you're lying. Yeah, right. I swear to God. But still, I like for some reason the ladybug like on me. Like I'm not scared. It's good luck. Every other bug. Mm -mm. So even a butterfly. In Alabama, we have a don't lot of cockroaches, <laughs> mm -hmm. like a lot, and it gets like so humid really? in the hot. Yeah, in the summer they'll like come to your house for the AC. Like the flying kind. That's like. Oh <sighs> yeah. No. Oh yeah. And I remember one night, like my sister had a pink silky pillowcase and like we were going to sleep. We shared a room growing up oh and God, she I'm said she this. heard like a little t -t -t, mm -hmm. like something stick into her pillowcase and pull it. And we turned the light on. It was a fat ass cockroach <laughs> oh, no. walking around her head. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Maybe I shouldn't go to Alabama. <laughs> like, no, that's honestly, that's, t I would honestly freak. I would freak out. I remember we were sure. acting a fool. Like I'm literally an trees. adult and I remember Wait, what? That. Cockroaches live in pine trees and there's pine trees everywhere. everywhere and I'm, and the, you know yeah. random ass things. About, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that ladybug girl, girl ladybugs buy <laughs> cockroaches live in pine trees. <laughs> I'm like Tyler can you, what the fuck? It's like a conversation and it's like did you know the cockroaches live in pine trees? <laughs> You're literally like your dad. I am. I'm turning <laughs> into my dad, dad every single day. You're literally turning into random dad. knowledge for no reason. That is his dad. I love 
love that. Though. I actually really think like random tidbits of information are so fun to I throw do. out there. I do. I love it's that. It's fun to learn something new. I'm probably just making it all up. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> no. you say it with enough up. confidence, it's true. It's true. And until someone actually fact checks you, it's true. It's true. And you say it with conviction. But is the food almost here? The food's outside on the ground. Oh, then let's freaking take Let a break. I, we're break. gonna take a break. I will be right we're back. Right back. Thank you so much to Current for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, Current is the future of banking where you can send, spend, save, and manage your money all from your phone. What I like about them is they have really cool benefits. Some of those mm. are you can earn points with every swipe, which is redeemable for cash back rewards. Not a lot of companies do cash back. They also have no ATM fees. Oh, the no, that's the See, big that's one. that's the thing. I love that one. It's so good. They also have helpful spending insights. It helps you budget. They have easy ways to create your savings goals. So they just have a lot going on there that is really user-friendly mm -hmm. and can help people keep a good budget with their spending i absolutely love that so what you guys can do for a limited time we've partnered with current to give away one thousand dollars that's right current is giving away 250 to four listeners of this show all you have to do is download the current app and enter our code fool during sign up before december 15th for a chance to win remember that's full during sign up download current app sign up in less than two minutes and enter full for a chance to win 250 dollars. no purchase necessary to win the purchase won't increase chances of winning void where prohibited eligibility restrictions apply visit current.com slash fool for full terms and conditions current is a financial technology company not a bank banking services provided by and visa debit card issue choice financial group member fdic pursuant to a license from visa usa inc and can be used anywhere visa debit cards are accepted faster access to fund is based on comparison of traditional banking policies and deposit of paper checks from employees and government agencies versus deposit made electronically. Direct deposits and earlier availability of funds is subject to payer support of the feature timing and the payer's funding. Overdrive is available only on current premium accounts. Please refer to the Overdrive features, terms and conditions, eligibility requirements apply. Thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. I gotta say, Laura, I like having sex. Oh my God, do you? <laughs> I do, and I will say, I think wow, that's really, really cool shocking. that Adam and Eve is so, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Adam and Eve is so, you know, it's, it's a literal website dedicated to being sex positive. So cool. And the fact that they have different sections for people to kind of break it down for you is really cool. Mm -hmm. They have a lesbian section, a gay section, a couple section, a man section, a women section. Like they actually have so many different things that are diverse in their portfolio. Guys, they have bath and body products they have lingerie and their website is laid out where it's so easy to shop it's so simple and it honestly makes it really really easy and it makes it for a really seamless sex positive experience and that's exactly what we're going for here on miss full coverage so they got a little deal for you guys if you're interested all you have to do is enter the code full at checkout and you'll get 50 percent off almost any item go check out adamandeve.com select one item get 50 percent off including free shipping when you enter the code full that's f-o O L full at adamandeve.com. Welcome back, guys. We are back from our food break. And Here you guys like talk. I, I love it when it ends in uh. Like, it's like then go. Uh. Then go uh. You're so annoying. Uh, Man, Ty, I do that all the time. I was like, stop speaking so I can put us back on. I want an M &M. You guys cannot eat M and M's while we're filming a podcast. I know. Why I'm not? That. We well, have ASMR. listeners. No. <gasps> okay, you're right. I'm not doing suckle it. Suckle on it. <laughs> Laura likes to suckle on her peanut m and I do, and then she I like does. to give Manny and tie the peanuts. No, I don't <laughs> well, fucking want Hand over peanuts. a handful of, like, saliva-covered peanuts. She likes bold peanuts. She mm -hmm. does. She actually eats those, though. I What's know. today's conversation? Today is about... You're talking about me like I'm not even here. For, wait, first of all. First of all, I'm here. I'm literally, I'm literally I looking at see. you. What are you talking about she? Talk about she like. She, she, she. Huh. Uh, you're right. Uh, we're talking about just like random crazy experiences <laughs> that we've had in the last couple of years. You start. Should I start? Yeah, I want you okay, to. Okay, which is I'm trying to think of which story okay. I want to start with. I I have a one brand trip experience mm -hmm. that I kind of wanted to talk about. What else? Second. Um, I also have this other one where like something happened at the gym. I like that one to start. Um, to start. You guys, Manny's gym story. Okay, Tyler, that's not. <laughs> this, is why, this is why I let's, say this. Not, not where we're going. Crazy. That's why I think we should start okay, yes, with a bang. Is, is this okay, where we're going? Let's start off. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna tell one story from the gym. I'm okay. gonna tell one. Have we heard this? I don't know. If, you guys have definitely heard it for sure. I have sure. a question, really quick. Whenever you guys watch the podcast. I never see comments about this, but every time I watch the podcast, I acknowledge it. Do you notice that I fidget a lot? 
That you fidget? Uh huh. Like, what do you mean? Like, with like your I'm hair? You touch your your hair? I'm constantly shaking. I constantly touch my hair. I do that too. That's just you, though. No, mine's like so extreme. Is it really? I've never noticed. You like sit pretty still, actually. I tend to, what do you know what I'll do? I always the sit on my leg. The only thing you do, though, is when you talk, you move your hands, but yeah. that's it. But you don't fidget. Like, if someone else is talking, I'll like be you'll like do this. constant or something, or I'll be like this the whole entire time. It's my ADHD. Oh, it's definitely your ADHD acting up. Acting up. Not being up. able to sit as still. I also watch it on double speed when I watch it back. That's so true. it's more noticeable because I'm like this. You're like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and I'll be like, uh, 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 uh. You're mogi. Y'all don't even acknowledge it. Like, y'all don't even notice. I just, I'm like, You're okay, like, yeah, whatever. that's just, but also, I've been friends with you for so long and yeah. has with you for so long that's like, I think it's just more so just part of you. Yeah. I don't even notice it it's at all. It's how I'm able to think clearly and process. If I can get out a little movement, I'm yes. able to like concentrate it's like people more. with like fidget spinners yeah. and like, you know, getting to fidget with something. We should get something. her a fidget spinner. We honestly should. Like those, don't. You know, like those like things that are like the popping ones. Do like you, you like turn around, pop, 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 pop. I don't actually. Mm. I don't like. It's I more so like you want to physically do them. Uh huh. I always shake my leg all the time. Yeah. I'm not like a leg shaker constantly. I'm a leg shaker. A leg shaker. I'm a finger like picker. I'm I a hair toucher. Literally, I bite my, my nails when I'm nervous. Me too. Like during an Alabama football I game, I won't bite my nails. Fucking... I absolutely have never bit my nail. Really, never ever. ever? Like I am not a nail she biter. She thinks it's disgusting. No, I don't. I mean, care. it's definitely not a good trick. I definitely don't. It's not. I a mean, good thing it'd to be do. good best if you didn't, but I like don't care about it. Like I'm like whatever. It's also like technically, I it's something damn, I, I don't even nails, think about. But, but I, like I like thing. pick at my skin. I think Ooh, a lot of people yes, are cuticle, like cuticle picker on his fingers. I am, so I have no judgment for nail biters because it's kind of the same thing in a way. All right, sorry, I'm sorry. Where were I'm we sorry. before Laura rudely and Manny sucking dick. No, <laughs> no, that is not what I'm going with right now. Okay, but first, before I even start this, like, if you're my parents, you can't listen. Nana, Turn it off. If you're my grandparents, you can't listen. The Turn only people that are off. allowed to listen on this that's related to me are my brothers and my cousins. Period. Turn, Turn off this portion. Off. Um, but okay, I did have this one experience with the day. I don't know if I've talked about it ever. I don't think. But you it have. was one where I was like. <laughs> Honestly, it was a jarring. So I go to a gym, and it's like a nice gym. Mm -hmm. And I... Are we going to say the name of the gym? <laughs> no, we're not. And so I go to a nice gym. And so the steam room has become almost like cruising area. It's like what it seems like it's become. If you live in LA, you know what gym he's talking about. And if if you know what he's... I was going to say a steam room and a gym. And you should... If you live in LA, you know. You know what like you it's know. A little, it's like know. a like... And even though it's not in the Made gay area. Steven it's not in, in the, It's not in the gay area. But it's still... Very gay at the gym, yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. So I remember going to the steam room. And not, listen, like I'm trying to go there to actually just steam. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to, you yeah. guys, they're literally the fucking worst. <laughs> when I tell them any kind of story, they be 10 steps ahead and uh, aren't even there yet. Yeah. because we know you. We know you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. So I go to the steam room and it's like, it's pretty crowded in there. So it's like with the steam room, it's like it's built like a little square, right? And there's like two L-shaped like seating areas, one above, one like lower, mm -hmm. like kind of thing. You're on the prowl. And so... I'm not on the prowl. I'm literally like, also like, I feel like after working out, if I'm like sweaty and gross, like I'm not in the mood to like do things. Sometimes I'm horny as fuck, sometimes I'm not in the mood. It just, it honestly really depends on the vibes of what I worked mm -hmm. out. If I'm doing cardio, I'm like, don't even look at me. Yeah, okay, yeah. But I'm lifting only, I'm like, you're like, ooh. Sud. You're peacocking. Um, I'm not peacocking. He's peacocking. No, I'm not. So we we're, it was like an L-shaped thing or whatever, and the steam was going, and it's like, so, okay, it's also scaldingly hot in there, and it's so smoky right mm -hmm. you can't so you can't really actually see but you can see a little bit <laughs> so i'm i so i go and sit down i sit on like the lower of the like two levels and there's about four <laughs> other people in there as well there's like two on this side two on this side and me over here like in the kind of like the corner because okay. it's like i'm also like don't want to sit next to anyone either like i'm like yeah. they're just like you know mind my business so as soon as i close the door behind me and i'm sitting down i see one guy take off his towel Mm. The next guy mm. takes off his towel. How many men? How many men were There's in there? There's four people in there. Okay, me five. Okay. First guy off the towel. Second guy towel gone. Third guy removes his towel. Yours was Fourth already guy, gone. Mine was not. <laughs> <laughs> he was guy number one. <laughs> I actually started. I walk in like this. <laughs> Titty shaking. Yeah. No. So then the fourth guy removes his towel, and I'm literally like. You had to remove it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, Tyler. Manny. Of course I'm not removing my fucking <laughs> towel. You guys, I'm so also petrified that like, hey, let's say I did do something. Yeah. What if I get caught and be like, man, me always in the steam room. Fucking I feel like fucking. that would happen to you. I feel like it would too. It would. Or I would get kicked. Imagine getting kicked out of the gym and never being able to go back. Like I would be, <laughs> <laughs> I would be so unwell. I would be fucking unwell. Yeah. So I, obviously I'm the fifth one down the line. I don't take off my towel. <laughs> So the guys are literally just jerking off in the room. And I'm over here in like the actual, no, like, right, so it's right themselves. now it's just them. It's just themselves. The guys are just jerking themselves off. 
And then I see one guy, like, and of course, there's two over there, right? Two over here. This guy starts sucking this one's dick. Oh, hell. The one next to me is like still jerking off. The one next to him, like the third one, gets up, walks towards me, and then sits next to me. And I'm like, oh, you, you know. must have, like, I don't have a you towel know. off. Like, I'm like, I don't. My towel's not, not on. I'm assuming that's the sign that's like the sign. that I'm not participating mm -hmm. here. And it all happened. I'm not kidding you within like 20 seconds. Like this isn't like a, I'm waiting there and like they just like. It happened fast. It's it's a very fast interaction. There it's has to slow. be like a Craigslist like listing for like this, I, this specific time to, for all these guys has, to go in there. Oh and God, why, would be, why would it be a Craigslist? Why, that was so random. random. <laughs> I would have text her. I'm sorry. But like, you know, Craigslist used to have like the women seeking women, men seeking men, men seeking women. Like they had like sections like that. myself. Sorry. Did you? you did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, like I didn't realize that. Like, I'm not part of this. You know, like, I'm not into this situation. So I'm about to like get up and go. So I'm literally getting up, and the guy grabs the back of my neck and tries <gasps> to like get oh, me to suck his dick. No. And I literally jolt back so <laughs> fucking hard that I was like, whoa. And I literally said, like, whoa, what the fuck? And like I get up and leave. And I still see him sometimes at the gym, like oh, walking hell. around. Mind you, this is literally like two, three years ago. This is pre-pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a long ass time COVID ago. COVID free. COVID free. So um, I left that scene and I'm sure to this day that they probably had an orgy in there. Oh, but like it's scary. Sure. It's scary. So then I like got and I just felt like so weird about it because I was like, I just felt like in a way I was like, that was almost rapey. It's, it gave me yeah. very like that vibe. Non like it gave me very non consensual because I was like, not only was I literally like not without a towel, I wasn't giving like kind of signs of like looking at you, looking at your dick. Like I wasn't yeah. doing any of those things that you would think to be like, oh, he wants to partake That's in so this circle jerk. <laughs> and you know, a literal, circle a literal jerk. circle jerk. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to be part of this. So I was getting up, but I, before I was, I, I was literally like, you know, when, oh, do you want what it could have been? What I was thinking about, you know, when you're like moving your towel up to like get up and walk, mm -hmm. maybe he thought I was going to take my towel off. Uh, maybe. So maybe in a way, like maybe that was his in his in his mind, like that could have been a sign. Yeah. I'm just like thinking that right now. I'm like, oh my god, that could be a sign. Um, like maybe he thought I was taking it off, and then he went and grabbed me. But I was like, I in no way, shape, or form indicated to you that I was interested in you in this way. So you to grab me is like very, very so weird. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So that then I go insane. and shower and I just remember being like distraught like that whole day. Just thinking like that was like so insane. So and crazy. listen, I'm a gay, I'm a fucking gay. Do you still go in the steam room? I do, yeah. I'll go. I'll go here Is and there. It open right but again, now? yeah, it's still it's open. But like again, like I've never experienced anything like that since then. Mind you, this was like three wow. years ago. But I've never seen anything like that, like to this day. I've like never I've seen, seen guys definitely like giving weird looks and like uh, do a flash towel, like a little moment like that. But nothing to that caliber of like this exact time. Four guys <laughs> all dicks out, fucking circle jerking and like giving head. That's you were in there crazy. at the wrong, at the wrong or the actually, right time, I depending do, on how you look depending, at it. Depending, depending. depending on your mood. <laughs> but the thing is also like. Even if he was fine as fuck, which he wasn't, like he wasn't fine to me, I didn't okay. find him attractive. Okay. I would still be very like, because I'm not like a voyeurist where I'm like trying to like do anything with people in front of a, an, a, an audience. Yeah. I don't want people watching oh, me yeah, hook up weird. with someone. Like I think it's that's weird. very strange. So I'm like, no, I don't want like people to watch me not the vibe. giving head or watch me any of that kind of stuff. Golly. So yeah, that's like one of my experiences. I knew that one was going to start us off rich. You, I'm you just really imagining did. walking into this steam room, like actually this going in there I'm for steam. Too. And there's like these dudes in there giving each other head. And I'm like, what the Dude, fuck? Dude, exactly. Like, there's there's straight <laughs> people at my gym. Like yeah. straight people go steam. Imagine. Like I'm like, like, did you, did they not think that? Like, what if it was a, a straight guy that walks in? Like, what if he reports you? Like, that's like literally crazy. Dude, me and Ty, I believe it. I can't remember if it was Cabo, Hawaii, but I think it's when we went to Hawaii. We signed up for the spa and me and Ty, we like finished our massage. And we're like doing all these like whirlpool and body spa. And like, they have this steam room that's like super uh -huh. magical. So in, baby, this is the thickest steam room I've ever been uh, in my like, it's life. Like you can, like, barely you see can't this. see your hand from your face. Oh face. my God. I and me and him are in there <laughs> acting scared. dumb as fuck. Of like we're are. being stupid. We're cracking jokes. Like we're talking <laughs> shit. And literally, <laughs> we scoot we've to been the back in of the there room. for a minute and a man gets up and walks <laughs> out. And we're like, no idea he was oh, in there, man. Oh my God. Thank God I'm we I'm pretty sure I think like we almost sat on him. Literally, I think I about sat in this it was man's that, lap. It was that thick. We had and no we idea. And we were acting so dumb in there. I'm glad we weren't being sexual. How embarrassing. <laughs> Imagine you guys were. We were, oh but we were God. being obnoxious. Like, yeah, like you were being Because we thought like, it was annoying. just us two yeah. in there. We're like, oh, this fucking steam. Like, it's so fucking thick in here. Like, it makes <laughs> like just being dumb. I know who you guys are, so I know exactly I'm what like, you mean. I'm like, God dang, that massage was hot. 
<laughs> like run in my mouth in there. And this guy, we just see a man walk out. We're like, oh my God. He's... There's also like definitely like steam etiquette too when you're in the steam yeah. right now. You have to see two people like <laughs> just chopping it up like <laughs> loud, loud as fuck. I'm like, bro, is this supposed to be like a chill time? It I'm is. Like, and what we're the like, fuck? Wh- both of us won't shut the fuck up. God. That I poor man. That, that poor, poor man. man. I forgot about that. <laughs> he reminded me. It's y'all's turn now because I gave I, I gave a story. What's your you st- first. Let's, okay. let's hear yours first. So I like I don't really I have a lot of crazy stories. I know you do. But it's like which a crazy one? story. I the thing is this the episode could actually be five hours long. Yeah. But we're gonna contain it uh, and we're gonna do like one here and there okay, and we might but do other crazy stories. There, <laughs> I literally was like, Laura, what, what story are you gonna do? <laughs> what happened? In a, Laura, what happened? One time you I almost drove through a subway, but that's a really that's a short one though. Yeah. Wait, She's what do you a bad mean? Bad driver and she. <laughs> well, she thought that. she put it in park or no? No. She thought she put it in reverse. I thought I was slamming on the brakes and That's I slammed the on the gas. Have you been? Yeah. Have you ever been in a crash crash before? I think I've been in seven or eight. You're wait. You're lying. Yeah. Haven't I? How many did you cause? <laughs> like three. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Were any of those crazy? Like, have you been any crazy yeah. experiences? Like, where you uh, flipped and shit? Me and Ty got a really bad one. Yeah. No way. She yeah. Head hit the um, busted windshield. open my front windshield. I couldn't yeah. even Wait, Laura, take my actually, hand and rub it through my that. hair because my so head blood? was so fucked up right here. <gasps> like the pain of moving my hair. It was crazy. Yeah. So your head is that hard and thick. Literally. You have the I went to the hospital. Of a to get, I had, they like <laughs> told me I had to go to the hospital <laughs> to get the scan for my head because yeah, it busted got like a the MRI. Yeah, MRI. And the doctor, I stayed in that hospital for like five hours. And I'm talking about, it was like 10 o'clock at night. I don't remember what time. It was probably like four or five in the morning. My mom had sat up there with me and I walked out in that hallway and saw the doctors flirting with nurses and cutting up. Mm. And I said, where? I went the fuck out. I was like, where's my results? Y'all got time to play games out in this hallway. I walked the fuck out of the hospital. I have no idea what happened to me. I have no answers. I walked the that's fuck out. That's very. I was weird. like, y'all got my mama up in here at five in the morning. Uh-huh, that's disrespect. Uh-huh. No, y'all totally, fucking totally around. Agree. Like I listened to them in the hallway, just being stupid as fuck all night long while I sat there. You're just like with a busted open brain, and I fucking walked out. I sure did. Hey, that turned into my and all. Yeah, no telling what was wrong with me. That I was know. not your story. That what, wasn't my story. But what anyway, was your story? so who knows? I probably that's probably what's wrong with me today. There's literally <laughs> nothing wrong with you. No. And you remember things so clear, but it actually made her better. <laughs> it, it, it woke me up. Wake the fuck up, bitch. Dude, I it literally did. like my memory is so trash that that would have happened to me. I'd be like, oh, it makes sense. I literally was like, all right, I'm going to see y'all later then. Y'all can just keep the results. Y'all have fun. Y'all can just mail me a fucking $5,000 bill for nothing. But anyways, so that happened. Um, What else? Okay, one time. I was telling Manny, I was like, well, I can tell the story. It happened so long ago. I was like in high school. So we were, mm-hmm. I think it was, I was in 10th grade. So sophomore, young, like what, 16? Youngster, 16, 17. 15. So me and my friend, I'll, I'll, I won't say her name just because she has kids now. It's like we were being so Let's crazy. try to avoid names in general. Yeah. Because I'd be, I'd be But me and my friend, we were down by the creek. Very Alabama. It's like, of course you were. Is that like, a, so that's normal. It's like a river, a little river we were down by. Down by the creek. And they had a, the they had creek. like a little keg, like, the creek. A, the like creek. an actual keg. And it was like At the five creek? guys and A keg us. in the creek? A keg in the creek. Got it. And the girls. I was not with you. We weren't even, we didn't even know each other until Oh, because it's sophomore. Yeah, you're right. This is sophomore year. We didn't really know each other. I don't think. No, we didn't. No. I, we knew of We're each, not dating or, yet. Yeah. Dating. I knew of you. Well, we knew of, of each oh, other. from a distance. We knew of each other, <laughs> but dis- we didn't oh. hang out or anything. But anyways, these guys were like good guys, so they weren't like weird. Yeah. They were all seniors, but we were like, let's get out of the creek on some stairs. And so uh, we went down there. We were like drinking their keg, and all of a sudden, some cops like come out of nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck? We're all underage. And they're like, what the fuck? The cops like start screaming at the top no of the lawn at us. Yeah, I guess their goal was to scare us there. I don't really know. But the girl I was with grabs my hand and t- we're barefooted because we were like playing in the creek. Right, because it's like water. Yeah. And she takes off running in the pitch black through the woods. I'm talking about like. <gasps> like a forest. A forest, like straight up. Thick woods, barefooted, shorts, tank top, mm. just running through. And she has my hand the whole time and she's pulling me. We're running as fast as we possibly can. She's like, I can't get caught. Like my mom would end me. Like if I got caught, like, like it's drunk over for in me. 10th grade. Like, yeah. And I was like, yo, my mom doesn't care. <laughs> so like I'm getting like fucked up in the woods for no reason at right. all. Anyways, we ran and we ran and we ran. So the cops wouldn't see us. And literally we came to a barbed wire fence in the middle of the woods 
She's like, we have to go cross it. I'm like, uh, wait, how you have to go over a bar. Is your mom gonna get on to you? <laughs> because like, you have to go over a barbed wire yes! fence. Are you guys in your bathing suits? No, we were just in like jean shorts oh, okay. and like tank tops. But oh, this we, is nighttime at the night. Pitch okay. black. I'm talking pitch black night. And no cell phones, really. None. Yeah, because no it, it would just be like flip phones. Yeah, then, but there's and, no like flash yeah. cell phones. Mm -mm, no. No, clearly pitch black. And we could hear the cops still yelling at the guys, which I think the guys were glad we ran because they didn't want a bunch of young girls around them getting caught up. Yeah, And all the cop strange. did is just made them pour out the fucking keg. And I'm like, dude. You ran for nothing. Dude. And I'm like, dude. Like, I wouldn't have even gotten in trouble. I'm just trying to be supportive and run course, with you and be, course. like, scared with you. Like, Ooh, like screaming yeah, through the forest with you. I'm going to get in trouble, too. <laughs> Not please. really. I was like, girl, I'm chilling. Like, we need to figure this out. Like, I'm good, girl. Like, we can just tell your mom I was drinking. Like, what do we need to do here? We ended up walking back after we saw the cops left. That was traumatizing, though. That's running through the forest screaming. Literally. I would be traumatized as well. I'm pretty sure he, like, called the, the other people's parents to, like, tell them. Oh, I'm sure. But yeah, and then we came back and we're like, oh, they just made you pour out the keg. I was like, oh my God, I'm like, never again. Never again. And this was your craziest story. I feel like you've done crazy. I know. Things. We have I definitely have. crazier I stories. I know I have. For sure. Does the podcast get this story? <laughs> <laughs> the podcast gets good stories for sure. Tyler, it's your turn though. This Shoot. is literally, I feel like this is low key, like, like truth or dare. Like, we're going yeah. in a line, like, okay, yeah. it's a year. We're going to come back to you. We're gonna let you marinate and see. Marinate, if, I agree. See if we can find a juicier story. I tend to find myself in really stupid situations often. This is very true. It is. Should we go to a break? All right, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back with after Tyler's. this. With Tyler's. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's episode of Full Coverage. So basically guys, with HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. You know what I like it? Because the holidays honestly are so busy, they're so Oof. hectic. Mm -hmm. But with HelloFresh, it keeps things really simple with the recipes and it cuts back on meal prep and cleanup so you spend less time in your kitchen and more time with your friends and family. Do you know? Do you want to go with the gag? The gag the lore gag? is the fact that on average, people save over $65 per month wow. when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. That's more money to spend on presents and activities for the holidays. I believe that because me and Ty use HelloFresh like mm -hmm. on our own outside all the time. of this all the time. I see it. It's literally the amount of times we had to go to the grocery store that drives me crazy with cooking. And with uh -huh. HelloFresh, I have so much stocked up in my fridge. Like I'm good to go for the entire week. I don't have to worry about it. I love that. I think that's freaking fantastic. So what you guys can do is go to hellofresh.com slash 14 full and use code 14 full for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts go to hellofresh.com slash 14 full and use code 14 full for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts and you guys already know that it's america's number one meal kit thank you to neutral for sponsoring this portion of full coverage 30 million women are impacted by weakened or thinning hair if you're among them, know you're not alone and that there's a solution you can trust to deliver results. You guys, healthier hair takes time. You'll begin to experience thicker, stronger, faster growing hair in three to six months. I have used Nutrafol, mm -hmm. I'm using Nutrafol, and I've noticed my hair, it grows, it's so much thicker, it's much, much shinier, mm -hmm. and it looks overall healthier. So They actually have a men's version too, so if you guys are men out there that actually want them, they have, I started taking the Nutrafol men, and I freaking love it, so I'm excited to see the results and how they come. You can grow thicker and healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash full to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only only available to the U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash fool. And we're back. The brown brown yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tyler, it's absolutely your turn now. Okay. Darling. Um mm. so I guess should I talk about a cop story like yours? You have something very similar. I have a cop one too. That's kind of strange. Yeah, yeah, I think you should. We can we, let's all do a cop one then. Like yeah. I have an, a weird cop one after. I was as trying well. to think of like maybe a gay sex story to one up Manny, but you know it's hard. It's um, hard to have. I, I, I have too many of them. I have so many. That's the problem. <laughs> 
Because as soon as you try to quality, one up man. me, I will be one upping you as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to talk about the scar that I have on my arm. That's seen the this? one I want him to. Oh my God. Yes. I, and I know juicy. the scar. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Like people it's, will it's ask him. It's kind of blended in. It's a pretty big scar. No, it's, it's a big scar. It goes, it's fucking massive. It goes across my entire inner oh. forearm. Shaped like a V. I feel like you told me this maybe like five years ago. Like, so, about, and like I don't once remember. people know Ty well enough, they always eventually ask. Yeah, like yeah. what is that? Yeah, like what? Like what's the what's it's the? Kinda, it's kind of it's. I'm so used to it. I don't, I've never seen it, but I guess I never it see is it too. noticeable to like a person that doesn't know you. Yeah, yeah. I, honestly, obviously, I don't notice it. It's been yeah. with me for a really long time. Um, I used to tell people it was a shark bite. I used to think it was cool to tell people. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. It's like when people ask me, like, are you tatted? And I'm like, yeah, dude, look. <laughs> and take I'm like, absolutely. Me take me off the back. roster, bro. <laughs> yes, I, did, I just did that TikTok. He that's did. why I literally said that. He did. That's okay, so shark funny. bike, I love it. Um, so, yeah, I used to tell people it was a I was like, oh, it's a great white shark. It's one, Not a great one. Bitch, that's that's that one tooth. Would be gone. That's yeah, yeah, one tooth, man. Be... And I fought him off on the bottom side. I poked his eye out and he ran away. So what actually happened when I was, I think I was about six years old. I vaguely, very vaguely remember this. A, well, probably what... because I was so young. And mm -hmm. B, because it was so traumatizing. You probably blocked it out. Oh, yeah. Like, literally, you sure. probably, like, completely blocked it out of your mind. I would be traumatized if the way the story went down. I remember <laughs> the rehabilitation part of it more than, like, actually oh, this. But, so, me and my brother are at my aunt's house with, like, a couple of our cousins. And we're staying over there. I don't know what we're doing there. I think, actually... We were, God, I had to have been, maybe it was summertime because we, I think we were there like out of school and she was just babysitting us while our parents were at work. Mm. Um, so we're in the backyard. They have a massive dog. I think it was, um, mm. <clears throat> I think it was a German Shepherd, I believe. But it was, I mean, I was little. It was a huge dog and I was kind of scared of it. Right. So we were in the backyard playing and I'm with my brother and of course I'm little brother, so I'm following him around and we get kind of, I think we like riled up the dog. So we get scared and the dog's like, I don't know if he's probably not being aggressive, probably just playing with us, but my brother takes off running. So of course I'm running with him. We're running from the dog. Mm -hmm. The dog's probably lapped us a few times, right. but my brother hops over the fence, right? It's a chain so link fence. I'm, chain link fence. I'm going to follow him, yes. like, right? Okay. So it's one of those, it's a chain link fence, but one of the fences with the protection parts at the top, like that's the, the, the the right. prongs mm -hmm. at the top so he hops over it no problem right. little brother follows i didn't quite make it so i don't know how it happened but i remember flipping over the fence and it caught my arm and i think it must have like caught it and then i, I like twisted and like ripped it wide open <sighs> but my arm was open you could see my bicep no um yeah so you could see like muscles and tendons and everything like that and i just remember grabbing my arm and i think i ran over to the the front door and <laughs> I, my brother, I don't know what he was doing during the point of when it happened, but eventually like my aunt found us and she got us in the car. My brother hops in the wrong car. In, <laughs> First of his all. His brother goes and gets in their neighbor's car for no reason. No, no, it wasn't the neighbor's oh, car. It was it was somebody was it? else's car in the driveway. Okay. So like, he hop, yeah, he wrong hops car. in the wrong car. <laughs> my aunt's got me. I think um her friend was with us and her friend was driving. She's got me in her lap and she's squeezing my arm so she's trying squeezing to stop you too. the blood. Got it. Yeah. So brother's in the wrong car. They have to go get it. Like, Ryan, get, get your in the fucking, fucking right ass. car. Didn't say he was ripping they, out his hand. Yeah, so they he was they said that out he was hair. he was literally he's freaking out. Yeah, he's freaking out. So he's like ripping out his hair, his like own hair, pulling his hair. No. That was his response so to seeing that he went to get in the wrong car <laughs> and ripped out his hair. I'm like, yeah. like some home alone shit. Are. Yeah. So oh they rush God. me to the hospital. My aunt actually breaks her wedding ring. She's squeezing. Me. You're arms. kidding. She's squeezing me so hard, trying to stop the blood. She wanted the bleeding to stop because it's like right, a major right. artery right <clears> yes. there. So, um, get to the emergency room. They sew me up. It was like, I forget, it was over a hundred stitches. I think it was closer to like 200 stitches that they oh. had to put in my arm. But I, I remember laying on the hospital table and them pinning my face down. So you would I wanted to look. Of yeah. Right. But <laughs> like, I remember like a bunch of shots going at me from, from there and obviously I didn't feel, feel anything. anything right. Else. But they sewed me up and I was good. I didn't hit like any major arteries or anything like that. That's yeah, so which is that you didn't hit any of those. Didn't your mom pop off it, on your aunt? So yeah. Um, 
Wait, but why was it? Because she, she wasn't this watching you, right? This is his dad's sister. This is my dad's sister. Yeah. Got so it. so my mom. Which by the way, she I really like her. this aunt. She always is like really fun. Yeah. I remember this aunt used to take me and her daughter, <laughs> who's his Which cousin. Which is your best friend in high school. Yeah. Um, I'm you, like. <laughs> literally used to take us and sneak us in all kinds of gay clubs oh my god i love that yeah, she like, was the cool aunt. yeah like she I would sneak us that. alcohol she would sneak us like into bars i'm telling you what <laughs> um but okay so yeah she calls my mom and i didn't see any of this i've i've heard this story like Every years year later they tell i'm it. sure but apparently my mom like cussed her out and slapped her <gasps> yes. in the face yes yeah which but i mean oh I mean, my god I mean, come on, like, I mean, it's, tra it's trauma I, though like it's I'd trauma be like, it's like i, I understand both of their point of views like yeah yeah hey this is your kid why aren't you taking care of my kid right, B, right it's right. like okay i'm not going to be hovering over your child they can play in the backyard, in the backyard. yeah exactly exactly so it's like so, one of those weird situations where it's like we should be watching him care more carefully yeah. you know but like but could it's a freak you, accident. Could you have prevented it you can't exactly. it's like a freak, it's a freak accident. accident but i understand like her anger and frustration at the moment absolutely so yeah apparently she's after and like went the brother rips out her. hair parents are slapping each other yeah. ties on the table isn't that so this is drama. Like literally the a movie. this is a movie the drama this is literally a lifetime and I'm left -handed movie too, so that would have really fucked me oh up. my god it you're did, right but were you left-handed then too yeah have you always been left-handed i've always been left-handed yeah. okay i was wondering i'm like is that a thing like do you, are you always left like are you are we, are we always right-handed I think, I think you so. like pick it like, immediately yeah. unless you're yeah. amb it's kind ambidextrous. Of, yeah, it's kind of immediate. You start like favoring an arm. One arm. Yeah. But, huh. Yeah. Crazy story. Trauma. Huh? I don't have like nothing's wrong with it at all. Mm -mm. Nothing. And, like, yeah. It's just like the scar. So yeah. It was like, honestly, it was like more like the skin came off. Yeah. Nothing else like was like disturbed. Other than the skin being ripped off. Yeah. I remember like the not even rehabilitation just like it healing up yeah i remember that that was pretty painful because they used to have, like have to put hydrogen peroxide on it and like, clean Ooh. it and stuff so fun times that is that's my horrible. story, story. sticking to it that's that's a story that's like the worst thing i've ever maybe heard. it's your turn it's my turn wait should i do the cop one yeah you'd have a cop one do you have a cop that one, one too shook i do me. have a cop one that one shook me. That, the cop one I had. Mm -hmm. That was, it was just a very weird situation. So I remember it was it was at nighttime and um it was late. It was like nine p.m. and I was driving towards like Hollywood like mm -hmm. area and I was like still close to my house. So it wasn't like as like suburban or it was more suburban, but it wasn't a city yet. Mm -hmm. So it's like very dark, very strange. So I'm driving, and the cop there's like a cop behind me and he like puts his sirens on and I'm like oh my god. And I wasn't like going fast. I wasn't speeding. I didn't like run us. It was literally like while I was driving on the actual freeway. And so I pull over to the like off like the next exit and the exit like there was, I had to go farther because there was no lights. So it was like no nothing. It was literally just like a dark road and the cops. Right. And so it's me. So I, I pull up and he comes up to me. He's like license registration. I'm like, here you go. Like it's just like very casual. And then he like looks at me. And then he like looks back at the seven looks at me and then he goes to his car oh and God. I'm just kind of like waiting there. And like, honestly, like it's so mm. annoying to get pulled over by a cop, obviously, but you're never like really expecting like anything strange. Yeah. Mind you. Okay. For me, like I always get a little like extra anxious cause I'm gay. So I'm always like nervous that there's going to be some type of like, not, I'm not saying that there ever would be, but like there's always this like little weird tinge in the back of my head mm -hmm. of like, okay, you're gay. And like, if you like come across gay, then like they might treat you weird or like, it's like this like thing in my head and it's, I don't know why I just have always had it that I'm always like oh they're gonna treat me differently because I'm gay mm -hmm. you know and like you never know like there is gay hate crimes and like that's yeah, absolutely a thing it doesn't matter if it's a cop or not like it could absolutely happen so yeah. I've always grown up with that kind of fear so there's always a little bit in the back of my mind that I'm like mm, kind of freaked out by police in a way so I'm waiting and he's like so he comes back to me and he's like can you step out of your car and I was like I really for what per and I'm literally like wait what and I'm like I'm like looking at him like so confused and I'm not glam or anything I'm literally just kind of like huh and he's like, I need you to step out of your car. And I'm like, okay. So I step out of the car and he's like, um, your registration is like out of date. Like it's like, it's past. And I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, like I, it's probably coming in the mail. Like it's whatever. And he's like, is this your car? And I was like, yeah, this is my car. Like I, it's just like a, a out of date registration. Like I, like this is my name. Yes. And he's like, I need you to get in the back of my car. So he's like, I need you to get in the back of my car. And I'm like, what? For and so at this point I'm literally like, wait what do you mean mm -hmm. and he's like he's like i need you to go into the back of my car like this is a a busy road there was literally no one on the road 
at all. And he's like, this is a busy road. I need you to be in the back You're of the like, car. You're like, yeah, shocking. And busy. I'm like, what? And so I obviously comply because I like don't know what to do. Like, yeah. I'm like, really, really weird. I feel so uncomfortable. I would um, too. And so I go in the back of the car. And like, obviously, like when you're in the back of a cop car, like you're thinking the actual fucking worst because I didn't actually do anything other than like have an expired registration. And like, you can't open the car. You know, it's like, I don't think you like, you can't open a cop back from car the from the inside. No, like, yeah. it's like, even if I wanted to get out, like yeah. I couldn't get out. Do you have your phone on you at least? Um, did I have my phone on me? I don't even know if I did. Have my, I did. I was in my car or was in my pocket. I can't remember. Um, but I just remember like kind of like twiddling and being like super, super paranoid and freaked out. And he was like, by my car and he was like, was walking he around doing? my car. He was like, oh, he was by my car. And he was like kind of walking around my car and he was like riding down on a, on a pad and he was like talking to someone and like on like the phone. And I was like, okay, like, is it like, am I? Am I going to die? Like, I like I, you, at this point, you're thinking like the actual worst. Yeah. So I'm kind of paranoid. Like, yeah. I'm really paranoid about this at the point where I'm like, am I going to get gay bashed right now? Like by yeah. an actual policeman? Like, I don't know what's going on. I've never heard of me having to go in the back of a police car for like a fucking license registration. So he's like, OK, um, he, he opens the door. And he's like, OK, I'm going to let you off with a warning now. And I'm like, OK. okay. Uh, and he's like, just like make sure it's updated and like you can go. And then he like sped off immediately after. So, so I wonder if he like got another call or something Maybe. or something might have happened. But it was like well, very like, strange. Why yeah. would he put you in the back of the car though? That's the part that like, like doesn't does make sense. All do? that could have happened with you sitting in the driver's seat. I, I know. And that's why I'm like, I'm genuinely confused. It's still to this day, because this happened to me like maybe like two years ago. Yeah. So it's not like a long time ago. It was like, to this day, I'm still very confused as to why he would have put me in the back of his car to like look up any of those things. I do not look in any way. I'm like literally in a hoodie and sweats. Like mm -hmm. I'm not looking like I'm going to like be defiant in any way. Like I'm like, dude, I'm just like chilling here. So I just, I don't know. I don't know if he was like fucking with me or if he like was trying to scare me in some way. It was very, very very weird and honestly it was like kind of like it freaked me like out it really freaked you. me out maybe he's trying to scare me and some cops power moves maybe you know? yeah maybe he was having like a complex like maybe he had this yeah. like weird complex and like he can like just tell me what to do and like i would do it mm -hmm. but again like i was like felt like it was so unwarranted and i was terrifying. honestly really really scared because it was just me in a dark road with like a policeman that's like asked me to go in the back <sighs> of his car like it's all of it combined was like it was really scary yeah like really scary that is that's terrifying and it was just like and it was so abrupt too he's like okay you can come out now um and then he's like i was like it's a warning and, and he leaves he's like see you later and i literally was like if if he didn't like get the call or if he didn't like leave immediately right after I'm like what would have happened i don't know like yeah. I, it like freaks like, me out to think about went, yeah it's so yeah. strange mm. so it's always that's like freaking scary. out to be honest yes yeah, very scary um is it my turn cop story or is it your turn it's your turn it's your turn technically so you know, I don't know. I feel like so much crazy stuff has happened, but I only remember like whenever we're talking and like things come up. That's exactly how I am too. Like I forget until it's like that moment. I remember one time we were at Club La Vila, which nothing good happens at Club La Vila. What the fuck is that? It's the world's largest nightclub. And it's was. In what? Was. was. It's no longer there. But it was, Where was it? Panama City Beach, Florida. Oh, okay. So it was big. They, I'm assuming it was huge. Yeah. It's where they like filmed the MTV Spring Break. Yeah. Okay. Girls Gone Wild film there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very that. Very that. That's the vibes happening. Okay. okay. So <laughs> it's, nothing good yeah, happens there. Nothing, nothing good, happens good happens there. there. Let's be honest. Um, I've actually only been like two or three times. Which I feel like is two or three times too many. It's three <laughs> times way too many. I remember. <laughs> so I used to have kind of a. I don't want to say, I don't want to like dog hurting way, but like a wilder friend. That's not even dogging. That's literally <laughs> just like what it was. Like you had a friend that was a little bit more intense. Dude. Okay. So we literally like, it's like four or five of us girls. I can't remember how many. I think it was five of us. We're like, let's go to Club La Vila. Like we took a girl's beach trip. Mm -hmm. We're like, let's go to Club La Vila. Which by the way, this is how hard I used to go. We we're on the beach all that day drinking heavily you can drink on the beaches there mm -hmm. heavily we're like taking our tops off in the <gasps> water and screaming titties out yeah we were just like being absolutely crazy I love, and it's I just love five this. girls and we're all like Hee -hee, and this is like a lore i never knew like, yeah i didn't know titties this is out we at the dating. beach i didn't know there were titties out oh. yeah, we were literally being <laughs> you're like so okay we're gonna have words when we got home <laughs> Tyler literally doesn't care. <laughs> um, so then we go <laughs> club and like these guys won't leave us alone. They're our age. These yeah. douchey guys. And they like, keep trying to talk to us. And one of my friends is a little dramatic. She's like not having it. And she's kind of like, you need to go away. And he's like kind of getting into it with her. And we're like all five. And he has like a couple friends. Uh -huh. And literally they get in a fight. I remember he specifically said she has a big nose, which I thought was kind of a weird 
like uh, insult? comeback insult because I was like, her nose isn't actually like big. So I was like, you're a fucking loser. Uh -huh. She takes my drink and not throws it, but smashes <laughs> it in his <gasps> face. Literally no. takes the cup and smashes it. And I was like, first of all, I'm broke. And that was my $7 <laughs> Cranberry <laughs> vodka. <laughs> but that's all, I, that's all I saw happening. I just what did saw he do? He literally went to the bouncer and tried to get him to kick us out. And my friend goes, this guy over here is throwing drinks at us. And he no said yes. Way. And we're all like, oh my God. Did the bouncer believe you guys? Yes. I'm like, no, wow. this, this is so crazy. Like, I'm like, no. Like, I was like, listen to the thing. I always had a good time, but I was never the center of the drama. Like, I was always yeah, yeah. like, but you're, I was you're always part, You're having there. fun. You're having fun with it. I was always there. And I'm like, my freaking God. So, yeah, I don't know. So you were vibing. Ty has another club of Vila. Actually, we were at a different club, it but it was in Panama City. It was in Panama City. I don't Nothing remember. Nothing good really is happened. Pan is Panama City not like a different country? It's the Panama. No, no, no. You're thinking of Panama. You're thinking of Panama, yeah. Not Panama okay, City. So Panama it's City. called PCB. PCB. Panama City is in, in Florida. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like kind of near the Alabama, oh Florida state line. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like up by top, the Panama Canal. Up top, yeah. Not, Not by the, the Panama canal. canal. Okay, that's that's, that's in Central America. The Panhandle. You're okay. thinking of the Panhandle. Okay, that's what I want to be. It's up about. in the Panhandle. No, no, he's thinking of Central America. No, but I, but I was. I'm thinking, actually thinking Central America. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, but she's yeah. saying that I'm it's, trying it's to on the inner you Panhandle. Points. It's close now. You're trying to guide me, me and I guiding. was stupid. But well, we literally are from there. That's the only reason we know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not because we know anything. Okay, tell me. Okay, I'm scared. Don't uh, remember all the details. The, the huh. club was it was called That's starting was like off strong. Something whale or something like that. I don't that. even remember. Uh, anyways, it, was it wasn't one of our club mini spring breaks. We were there. Me, Laura, her best friend, my cousin was there. Mm -hmm. I don't. So it was a bunch. It was probably like a good like maybe eight or nine of us in the club all together. <laughs> like that went together. And yeah. we're just like partying and having huge, a great time. Yeah, mm -hmm. huge um, Literally our like a bunch of our friends from our senior class. It was our yeah. senior trip. I was, no, 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 no. I don't what? think it was it our was senior, senior trip. spring break. It was senior spring break. Was it senior year? Mm -hmm. I thought it was the year after mm -hmm. that. It was senior. Well, anyway, somehow we got in the club and we're all drunk and we're not even 21. Oh my God, maybe it so. was the year after that. I don't know. I don't think we were 21. Either it's that way. time frame though. It's like that. That yeah, area. Mm -hmm. right around the t early 20s Okay, um, in the club. I don't know why. Maybe you know why. My cousin put a cigarette out on this dude's arm. <gasps> I Dude. don't Wait, know why. What? I don't know. Did he have it coming? I'm not Dude. sure. Do no, you know? he started Did he it? such mad shit with her man. Okay. He oh. like started shit with him in the club and she got mad. And when I saw but her, she out takes a cigarette, a cigarette and puts it on her arm, I was like, oh, so like, that, like shit's is, going fucking yeah, down. I was like, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Like, I was like, this is going to get so bad. So then they try to like, so, okay. Us. So the guy, yeah. So, so <laughs> here, all right, should, so like, the crazy on. part is dude, dude's a local and he's there with a bunch of other guys. We're not locals. Great. No, of course. Yeah, we're not locals. So we're like, great. He's there with a bunch of guys and they try to fight in the club. Bounces come no. over kick them out not, not us. us and we're like fuck we're yeah, you're like, <laughs> dude so we stayed so much longer turned up so much harder right. not a thought in the world about these dudes that just got kicked out right. they waited on us no in the parking lot they wait for all nine of you guys us. ambushed us listen all right so oh for God. some oh reason oh for God. some fucking reason i'm the only one that got ambushed Right. Why you? I don't know. I, I had, remember I slapped the one of them in the face, though. Maybe. Lord, you hit them? Uh -huh, I, I hit missed one of them. all you of them. You know I did. They were literally trying to, like, beat everyone's ass, and I knew they wouldn't hit me, so I literally ran back. But when I tell you, when I slapped I this guy, I fight he didn't even blink his eyes. He no didn't way. feel like, it. He was enraged. Like, he didn't enraged. even. Enraged. Like, like, I'm telling you, I slapped him, red. and he did, his head didn't even turn. I don't remember that. I don't really remember any of the confrontations. But you also were, like, drunk and fucked up. Oh, yeah. So I wasn't that drunk, because after I saw your cousin put, a cigarette out on his arm I was like I'm scared I want to go home like this is not my vibe like we don't put cigarettes we're gonna title all this through. episode Lori gets in a fist fight <laughs> <laughs> like, listen like literally if you try to fight with me I'm literally gonna walk in the opposite direction no 100% that cigarette out on the arm that, but see, that's, I'll never forget that like, that's scary that's haunting like a, a cigarette burnt out on someone it's yeah. not, it's not I remember kind of when she did it too. The guy didn't even react that much. Oh my god! Monster. That's, <laughs> That's literally he, is he on HGH? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's human growth hormone. I meant like on something else. <laughs> I mean, maybe that that works too. It's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so we're walking out of the club, right? Uh -huh. And 
I we're like all kind of walking together and I'm pretty mind you, I'm pretty fucking drunk. Right. And I kind of black out for a second. Mm -hmm. And like I like almost like I like I everything just went black for literally a split second. Uh -huh. And then I kind of caught myself. I was like, whoa, how trashed am I right now? Like, yeah, I, I almost just like fell down on the ground and blacked out. Like what happened? And like as that kind of happened, like. I see a little bit of a skirmish like off to the right yeah. and the guys that were waiting on us are like up in the face of like the other guys that we're with. And I'm like, Oh shit. Like it's like, about to go down. like what just happened? That's when I slapped the guy in the face. Cause he was literally about to beat the shit out of all of our okay, friends. So it was this guy was that so that big then. and enraged. I literally was like, stop. And I slapped him in the face, baby. It was like a fly bounced off him. So, um, <laughs> like, we 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 stand off with these guys, right? And we would have like, gotten our like, ass kicked. We're all like kicked. talking like, like, mad shit. Yeah. We would have gotten our ass kicked. We probably would have got our ass yeah. kicked. All talking fuck? mad shit. Everybody's waiting on everybody to throw the first. You guys, punch. Like, you guys are a bunch of pussies, Literally. dude. But no one would throw the first punch. Thank God. Right. Honestly, thank God. Peace. Let peace on earth. Literally. Little did I know, they already threw the first punch. When I blacked Tyler. out for a split second, I got hit. He got punched in the I face. I had no idea I got punched in the Tyler, face. Tyler, are you fucking Until we started to go right back now? to the car and I was like, fuck, my jaw hurts. And the dude was like, yeah, dude, hit you. And I, one of the guys that was with us, I was like, is that what happened? Like, he, like you, you didn't even see it happen. I did not. Like, out of nowhere. Because he hit me before I even saw him. And, like, everything went black for a split second. Like, he must have hit me right on the button. But, like, I didn't right, knock like, out. Right, like, boom. Yeah. Like, where it's going to knock so, you out. So, like, I, I guess I just blacked out for a split second and caught myself. And he he went by in a blur in the amount of time that like it took me to regain and myself. Going. Yeah. He was hiding. He's the guy told me he was like he was hiding behind a car and he jumped up as like our group was starting to get in front of like their group and he jumped out in front of a car and hit me. He was probably wow, this no guy idea. isn't even gonna react. <laughs> 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 he did not get what he wanted. I gave him zero reaction. <laughs> he's he's like, don't fuck with him. <laughs> he's like, he's crazy. Not, he's so good not, he didn't react. He's crazy. <laughs> I know. I had no idea. Oh I got punched. God. I don't right, like right? violence. Like, no, I mean, are you I kidding me? Like, like no. Uh, like, one time on a plane, people answer. were just getting really rowdy, like, with the flight air attendant. Like, no people way. were just arguing, and I almost had, like, an anxiety attack on the plane just because people were just riled, getting like, too riling. rowdy. It's riling. And when you're in the air about to take off, you don't want rowdy people on your plane because it's scary. Like, all yeah. the terrible oh, yeah. shit that happens. Plane, like, terrifying. on a plane. And so, like, I, rowdy stuff bothers me. So, I, I'm scarred. From, from that, that's that. I remember the, the cops. The, so the and, cops uh, came. So that's why we broke anything. up. We were literally just fucking there. Y'all were just part of the group. Well, so you I got mean, fucked. She, she. Oh, you mean us? us you too. Like, okay, specifically, yeah. us too. I had nothing You're like, to well, do there's with a that. Cigarette. I had Maybe nothing. You to do kind it. of looked like. I even grabbed my friend's arm, or whenever she did it, was like, no. Like I remember pulling yeah. her arm and being like, what the fuck. Me and the guy, her, my cousin's boyfriend, the one I guess that was in it with the other guy, we kind of had like a similar build. So maybe he thought maybe that he thought, I was that maybe, guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe he just saw you. that like, oh, I'm going to get part this of the guy because he's part one of the crew. You. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember on that same beach trip, he had some rims on his car, the guy oh that was the driver. Even crazier. S even crazier on that same trip. Some people would try to steal the rims off the mm -hmm. car while we're eating at a restaurant that night. Yep. Try to take the rims off, but he had a special lug nut that it's you a need lock a lock yeah. to get it off. So your rims don't get stolen. So oh my God. Well, yeah. that means they loosened all the lug nuts. They took all the, all the lug nuts off. off of one rim and left one lug nut on and then just fucking left. So guess which what is like happens a whenever they're going dangerous. intentional murder. Yeah, when literally. They're going right. six down back beach road guess yeah. what happens a fucking tire goes the off the entire, car it wasn't a blowout off. the whole the tire, tire came, off came off the car yeah we i was sitting in the back seat oh my God. sparks went flying in the hair because we're doing this like 60 or 70 trip. miles per hour yeah same trip this is my screen grab for the episode but literally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh sparks go flying and luckily nothing happened like we we called a tow truck and the we girls to pick it up. were in a different car and they called us and we're like his hot hair just literally flew off the car we need you yeah. to come get us so when when they came and um, picked the car up, the tow truck did, they told us that one lug nut was the only thing that was on there. So 
so they were the ones who told us. Like yeah, it, it fell literally, off they are the ones who told us. They were like, "Yeah, somebody tried to steal your rims, and they just left one the locked lug." First nut of all, on that's there. the most fucked up thing. He could those people that try to steal over a rim could have killed four people. Oh, a hundred percent for just for fucking stealing a for rim. A fucking and busted fuck up out of here. rim. Fuck Crazy. Out of here. But they also told us they were like, "You were lucky that the car didn't flip because like usually when oh, this happens and happen? you're like going a tire fast, you're right. The tire is off, shoot to the ground, and then yeah, they were like. Lift. Mm -hmm. They were like, you're lucky the car didn't just like tumble. And I'm like, oh my God. All in one so trip. Grateful. More stuff than That's that happened, but I'll leave it, we'll leave it there. That trip. That trip. That trip. That was a crazy trip. We'll leave it there for now. Are we wrapping? Because we're wrapping. Yeah. No! It's like, it's the, baby, it's like the end. You got more stories to tell? No, I don't. It's like, the, it's honestly the end. I enjoyed right. this. I'm going to have to come back on. Tyler, you're literally always here. <laughs> so literally, Anytime. you could grab the microphone whenever the fuck you want. Like, Alright guys, story hey time. Guys, Tyler, story time. Uh, interject on here. <laughs> like you could do it literally anytime. But I had so much fun with you on here too. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's honestly just like really natural though because literally it's like our this normal conversation. <laughs> this we is, are, with this uh, is our literally weekly. what we'd be doing at the house in the backyard, just sitting and telling stories. And like literally this. just like fucking shooting the shit. Yeah, but I love it. Oh my god, that was a great episode. I loved it. Was. Thank you guys for being here and watching. Thank you guys so much. We got two, of course, sub. Rate, subscribe, rate, subscribe, I, like baby, it. Baby, our All views are higher than our subs. Ooh, ooh, I see ooh, you. Ooh. Fucking subscribe. <laughs> May's gonna come to y'all house. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for coming up, Tyler. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah.